and your grace. We thank you for being in our midst. We acknowledge that you are here. We thank you for your fire. Your fire that consumes. It consumes. It consumes. It consumes everything that is not like you, Father God. We thank you for the fire that it comes to purge. That it comes to deliver. The fire of God. The fire of God. We thank you, Lord, with your fire. You are fire. God is a consuming fire. And you have brought your presence of fire with you. And so, God, we thank you. We do not take it lightly. And so, Father God, we bless you. We praise you. We give your name honor, glory, and praise. Father, you said praise you in the fire. You said praise you in the fire. Even Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had to praise you in the fire. Hallelujah. They had to praise you in the fire. Oh, God, we thank you and praise you. But you joined us in the fire. Hallelujah. You joined the fire. So God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you honor, glory, and praise in the Son Jesus' name. Come on, people of God, say amen. Come on, say amen. 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 The Lord loves you. The Lord is with us. And we intend on being with him. Amen. Amen. So we are going to go, hallelujah, to uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 61 Thank you, Father. the Lord had a question and he said is this the jubilee do you see this as the jubilee thank you Jesus so then I had to study it again about the jubilee the jubilee was every 50 years and it was the year of God's favor all debts were canceled people were delivered out of prison oh yes he come to set the captives free there was a time of rest there was no work so the land had rest, and they had to eat off the goods that was already on the land. And at this time of Jubilee, the people had to know and understand that it was a point where they had to know that God was their God. Nothing was expected of the people but faith in their God. God and his confidence in his power, which was not to be shaken by any doubtful reflections. So in the time of Jubilee, the people had to understand that God alone was their God. They had to know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God shall a man live. So in the time of uh, Jubilee, people had to understand and expect that God was taking care of his people. Amen. He was taking care of the people. So we're going to the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. Says, and when, when you have it, please say amen. 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 It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste places, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be called the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Thank you. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Uh -huh. So that is the word of the Lord, yes. Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 through 8. God is an everlasting God. Yes, is. God wants us to rejoice greatly in him. Yes. 
He wants our souls to be joyful in him, and he wants us to be clothed with his salvation. It is he that saves us, not ourselves. It is he that comes to deliver us, not ourselves. He is the righteous God. He is a bridegroom. He decked himself with ornaments as a bride adorned herself with her jewels. Um, verse 11 says, For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown into it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. God wants us to know that it is a joyful thing to do judgment. How yes. many know it is a joyful thing to do judgment? Amen. That means God wants justice done in the land. Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't understand the, just, the judgment of God. Right. They don't know that when God is doing something in the land, he's making, he's making things good for his people. Right, right. Um, Proverbs 21, 15 says, It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Huh. God, it's a joyful thing to bring judgment. All right. If you're, worker, if you're working with people of iniquity, there's always going to be a constant war. Always. They don't like you, and you don't like what they do. Right. So it's an abomination to the righteous to look at the things that the wicked do, and it's an abomination to the wicked to look at the things the righteous do. Mm -hmm. So the things that the righteous man does, the wicked looks at it as an abomination to them. Right. So you need to understand that there is a line that is drawn. Yeah. There's a line. God don't want the line being merged. Right. 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 See, sometimes we try to blend things because we want the peace of the world with it. No. Right. But God said make a difference between the clean and the unclean. Right. He said make a difference between that which is holy and that which is profane. Right. Things that you see that is wicked, it's supposed to vex you. Right. It's supposed okay. to ruffle your feathers. Right. It's supposed to make you feel some kind of way. Right. It's supposed to make you understand that, hold on, where is God and yeah. his people? Yeah. It's supposed to jog you around yeah. to let you know that you should not be comfortable right. allowing people around you to live the way that they think they want to live right. and you're the righteous right. one in the room. Right. Come on, it's a righteous thing. Right. It's a righteous indignation that you have when Jesus was in the temple and he saw that they were selling things in the house of his father. He turned over the tables. Uh -huh. He said, my house shall not be, it shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Uh -huh. This thing vexed the Lord. Huh. And he didn't have no problems turning the tables over. Right. Because it was God's house that they were profaning. Right. It's time out to see churches where we're selling merchandise in the house of God. Right, right. You ought to be vexed by that. Right. You ought, everybody want to come. Right. Everybody want to yeah. come and get my car to give you your car. Right. We're going to yeah. come network. Right. We're going to do this. We're gonna... Everybody, you got to be vexed. Yeah. yeah. Your spirit ought to be vexed. We come to the house of the Lord, of the Lord to worship him yeah. and to hear what he's saying That's to right. us, his church. Right. Yeah. 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 So let's go to the book of Luke chapter 4. Jesus is going to say these words again when he opens up the Bible he turns to Isaiah 61 where that is found we're going to look at Luke chapter 4 verse 16 and it says and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. 
and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is not this Joseph's son? The scripture being fulfilled in their ears was letting them know that their king has come. It's letting them know that the crowning of the events that's going to happen from hereafter is going to show why he's come. He has come to preach the gospel, the good news, to the poor. He has come to heal the brokenhearted. He, this is why he's come. He's come to preach deliverance to those that are captive and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. They started looking at him and said, wait a minute, how is he going to say this? Isn't he not Joseph's son? Right. Because this scripture alone lets the people know your king is here. Right. He said this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. Your savior is here. Right. Your savior is come. And this is what I come to do. They immediately, many of them did not believe it. But what was his rebuke to them? 23, verse 23 said, he said unto them, ye will surely say unto me this proverb, physician heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is acceptable, is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth. Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elijah sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elijah the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. This proverb that is spoken out is letting you know this is what's being said because the deliverance is coming. Yeah. And the only one that's going to get it are the ones that believe. All right. All right. This is the time when the separation is going to be between the wheat and the tares. Come on. The Lord is saying, I'm here to deliver. Yeah. Right. I'm here to set free. I'm here to set the captives free. Yeah. I'm here to, to heal the broken in heart. I'm here to release the prisoners. I'm here for the things. In the time of Jubilee, if there were debts that were owed to, to, to them, that was a time that the debts were, were, were set free. Nobody owed anything anymore. Mm -hmm. And if people had went to be a servant of their family to pay off a debt, those family members went back to their own families. They released them and let it go. It was yeah. every seven years that there would be a Jubilee. And so here is the time he's saying, I'm coming to set the house in order. Yeah. I'm coming to set the captives free. Yeah. Now, many times people were looking and saying, what does he mean captives? Sometimes people don't even know that they're held captive. Right. The, 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 the Jews that Jesus was talking to in John chapter 8, he told them about the father Abraham. And they begin to say, uh, we're Abraham's seed. He said, if you were Abraham's seed, you would not seek to kill me. Mm -hmm. They said, we are Abraham's seed. We are not of the fornication. He said, well, if you were Abraham's seed, you would hear me. Right. And so there's not everybody that can hear the word. Listen, everybody cannot hear what the Lord is saying. Everybody's not hearing what God, the creator of heaven and earth, is saying right now in the land. Uh -huh. God is preaching a gospel. He's saying, I'm coming to set the captives free. Yeah. I'm, I'm here, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you by the release of the prisoners that shall come out. Yeah. I'm going to show you by the release of debts that will be canceled. Yeah. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you that there's going to be healing in the land. I'm going to heal those that are broken in heart, those that are broken right. in spirit. Right. I am coming to do I'm this thing. You. I'm right. coming. You've been waiting for a long time. Yeah, and people yeah. are saying, where is the God that the Bible had preached about? Right. Like Gideon, where is the God of the Bible? Where yeah. is the God of the miracles, the signs, and the yeah. wonders? Where is he? Even yeah. Gideon knew that they were oppressed. Yeah. Because every time they got substance, here comes the Midianites will come and take up everything right. that the harvest would bring up. Right. And so Gideon would try to hide, hide the harvest so the Midianites would not take their goods. So every time you get to working, here comes somebody coming to take your whole check. Right. right. Here comes taxes being increased. Right. Here comes things. Every, you owe this one. Oh, now the light bill went up. Oh, there's a tax now on the water.
on it. There's a tax stamp on the right. air. There's right. a tax stamp on this. You gotta have to pay this and you have to pay. So every time you make an increase, here they come yep. to try to take away what you have just got. Right. So get in, begin to say, wait a minute. Right. We should not be living like this. Right. See, you have to have a wait a minute moment. Right. Imposters? 
Yeah. Do y'all remember one of the first key things was the young lady that was over the NAACP, ACP, she was pretending to be black and she yeah. had a white yeah. 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 Right. 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 Yes. So you have people who are trying to be you, getting all your benefits, uh -huh. and they were never supposed to be there. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. But then when you think back, do you not know that the NAACP was created and formed by the Jews? Uh -huh. Right, that part right there. The Caucasians, that part. <laughs> There's a lot of imposters. Yep. And then we got to see how somebody else pretended that they were an Indian to right. get all the benefits of an Indian. Right. And then when the person was confronted, they said, oh, you know, my family just told us we had an Indian in us. Right, that's what they said. Uh -huh. They. <laughs> So that means there's a lot of imposters. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fake folk. Right. And if you're not aware of that, they'll take your place. Yes, they will. If you keep yes, quiet, they they're going to take your place. And you're right. Listen, this is why you cannot be blinded by how, how people are moving. Watch how they move. Watch yes. what they do. Watch who they are and who they represent and where they come from. Right. Because in God, nobody in God is going to want to oppress his people. Right. right. Nobody in God is going to give a, 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 a two-year sentence and change it to a 15-year sentence. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Trying to prove a point. Yeah. And trying to use a three-strike shot. Do you know three strikes law is not even in existence? Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. That's Do you right. know that many people that were set up and caught up and all that, you can go and get your records uh, right. cleared up, yeah. um, changed yeah. from felony to misdemeanor? Yeah. Did you not know there were laws that are passed so that those of you had suffered such indignation and oppression of the enemy can go and correct that? Right, right. right. Tell the people. Tell the people. Do you not know that there are laws that are already set up because when you get these felonies on your record, you can't even vote? Can't do nothing. Right, right, right. Did you mm -hmm. not know that? Mm -hmm. There are people that are imposters. Yeah. And God wants you to know the difference. Jesus is saying, I come to bring good news. Yes. I come yes. to bring the gospel to the poor, to those who need God, those who are crying out to God, those who know they're sick, they're going to call for a physician. Yes. I'm coming to bring the good news to you. But if you don't realize you're poor, you don't realize you need God in this world, right, right. you think you all good, right. then he's going to pass you by because right. you don't need him. We are right. people, if you realize it or not, who need God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's go to Psalms chapter 2. Psalms chapter 2. The title here that I have is called The Anointed One. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. So listen, there are meetings that are taking place. Yeah. Psalms 2 says, why do the heathen rage? Mm -hmm. Now they're angry. Right. They're in a place of anger that they want wrath. Right. And the people imagine a vain thing. Mm -hmm. The kings of the earth, they set themselves, they put themselves in positions. Mm -hmm. And the rulers take counsel. So the kings and the rulers are sitting at a table taking counsel. Right. So they're sitting down saying, okay, mm -hmm. um, you over Cyrus, you over Syria, mm -hmm. you over, I think mean, we all need to sit down and come together. Right. Now, how are we going to get these uh, these chosen ones away from us? Right. Because we can't do what we want to do because they're always praying. They're always making a bunch of noise. Right. And every time we go to get ready to do something, they, they shoot firebrands up here. Right. They're shooting right. arrows up here. Right. They're shooting all kinds of missiles up here. Right. What are we going to do to shut them out because we tired of them trying to come in and just take away our assignment. Right. What are we going to do? Because cause, cause they're a big old distraction. Right. And I'm tired of them. I'm tired of God that they serve. And I don't want them praying them fire prayers no more. Right. Because it's time. It's time out. We want to be free from them. Uh -huh. hmm. See, when you pray, the fire prayers. We're not talking yeah. about, Lord, lay me down to sleep. No, uh -uh. 
Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're not talking about them soft prayers. Uh-uh. We're talking about warfare prayers. Yes. So yes. they're sitting down, and every time you go to pray the warfare prayers, missiles are being shot up. Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. Every time the warfare, you know what? I had a thought. Mm-hmm. You remember those videos we used to have? And we watched Fox 600? Yes. Yeah. Try to find them. Find one on your phone first and get it. Because I need y'all to see something. Here, come get this remote because y'all can turn it on. I need y'all to understand because it's the council. And it's what's happening in the spirit. And so they are upset. They are mad. And they want to tear our bands asunder. They said, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. And it says, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Yeah. They, uh, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Find a short one because it's one with, that shows the warfare. When we get to praying and you really get to see the, the warfare, one, this is the, the one that the, the animation. The animation. Listen. So God is saying, listen, these people are in authority and they're making plans against you. But Jesus is coming to say, I want to preach the gospel of the good news because they can't just come the way they want to come. I want you to be knowledgeable. I don't want you to be poor in spirit with this. I want to preach the good news that you are saved from the hand of the enemy. The Bible says, um, save yourself from this untoward generation. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. You look at the book of Kings and you see all the wars that have taken place under David, under Saul, under the different leaders that were the kings. And you get in the book of Judges, you get to see um, how Balaam and Deborah had to go and they were fighting against the king and how even Joshua was fighting and he looked, he said, son, stand out still. Y'all remember those things? Yeah, yeah. So there's war, and it says the stars fall in their courses. Yes, yes. And so when you go into battle with these things, with the warfare scriptures, with warfare and understanding that you are speaking to principalities and powers, that they have to obey. The good news is that you don't have to sit down and take it anymore. No. All right. Look at you never say you don't have to take it anymore. You don't have to take it anymore. You don't have to take it. You don't have to take it. You just don't have to take it. God said he's going to laugh. He's going to laugh in the heavens. And he says, um, verse 9, thou shalt, thou, oh, look at verse 8. He says, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Have anybody asked that question to the Lord? Hmm. He says, ask of me, because he said, look, the heathen are raging. The heathen are having a fit. Um, God said, He's going, he that sitteth in heaven will laugh. Verse 6 said, yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, Thou shalt dash them with pieces in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So listen, God is saying, I'm going to give the enemies enter your hands with the ask. Right. Ask of me. I'll give you the heathen for your inheritance. Right. So what they tried to rule over you with, he said, I'm going to let you rule over them. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. God. Listen, they tried to rule over you with oppression and hardship, but I'm going to let you rule over them. There's a difference when the righteous rule over a nation. Right. There's a difference when the wicked rule over a nation. When the wicked rule over a nation, the people cry. But when the righteous rule over a nation, the people begin to rejoice. Because there's going to be fairness in the land. Hello? It's going to be fair. And so God, he's saying, look, 
I'm here to make a difference. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4 real quick. Did y'all find one yet? Maybe mom, you're like 11 minutes. Okay. I'm trying to find a short one. All right. I want you all to see this because um, you need to get a visual. You need to get a visual. We're going to Hebrews chapter. This is going to chapter 3 because we're going to go and break into chapter 4. So Hebrews chapter 3. And we're going to look at uh, first one, and then we'll jump around through there. Whoever can find it first, send it to Allison. Remember, we're looking for a short one that just shows when the people pray, there's missing sin. Yes. Y'all got it? Hallelujah. Okay, listen. Hebrews 3 and 1. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, Consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. Y'all can just turn it on and just find it, okay? And then let me know when y'all are ready, okay? So it says, um, verse 3, For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, for 40 years. Wherefore was I, I was grieved with that nation and said they do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. See, we err in our heart when we don't know the ways of the Lord. Yeah. And God wants us to know how he works. Yeah. He wants us to know his ways. So right now, even in this time, he's letting you know I'm here to, to deliver the captives. I'm here to set the captives free. Yeah. I'm here to open up prison doors. Yes. I'm here so that you don't have to be bound anymore. Yes. Right. I'm here because you don't have to walk in sin anymore. Right. The wages right. of sin is death. You don't even have to face death anymore. Yes. You get right. to walk in life. And so God is stretching out his hands. He just said, just will you believe me? Will you believe that in this new creation, old things are passed away and behold, all things are new? Will you believe that in this time, it is the time of the vengeance of God? Yeah, yeah. God is coming through and he's going to justify his people. He's going to bring judgment to this earth. Yes. This is what he says against the ungodly and against the disobedient. Mm -hmm. And so here we see that in this time, there were many that had fallen dead because they didn't believe God. So verse 13 says, But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. So you have to hold on to your confidence all the way to the end. Verse 14, For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved for the years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not? So you can't be one that don't believe God. He said, I'm bringing you to the other side. Don't start doubting him now. Right. Don't start doubting him. But if you do doubt him, you're not going to be able to cross over. Right. He says, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. They didn't believe God. Mm -hmm. That's the time of, ju of, of Jubilee. It's a time where the people of God were all, they all had to go back to their land. They could not sow in the land. They could not work the fields. They couldn't do any of that. They had to live off the fruit that was already there. And they had to know that God was providing for them the whole time. And so here God is wanting us to know, here you need to know your king is providing for you right now and all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is how you know the difference. 
He wants to know. You remember when it rained down manna from heaven and he gave them instructions on how to get the manna? Uh -huh. You get it for this for your family. Don't take no more. Yeah. Take it here. But on the Sabbath, you rest. Don't go out there and get any more bread. Right. And so they, they, they did not listen. And they had worms in the camp because they failed to listen. So, so same with God. God wants to prove himself time and time again that he is yet God. And there's nothing impossible with him. Verse, you ready? Okay, 4-1. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left of us entering into his rest, any of you should be come to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So listen, we're going to watch a short video. But this should prompt you into praying. The warfare prayer. This is nowhere on my paper. Nowhere, but God knows. I want you to see this because when you pray, the kings that are up in the heavens, they don't like the saints praying. Yeah. Warfare prayers. They don't like it. And so what you need to see the effect of your prayer. Okay? So, listen. The Lord wants you to launch your faith to another level. Yes. Yeah. Everybody listening? Uh -huh. You have to launch your faith to another level. Now, when people are controlled, there is an entity at the top. And one example of that will be the book of Daniel. Daniel had a dream. He didn't know the interpretation. So he began to pray. He fasted for 21 days. And the angel could not come to bring him the answer because there was a war up there. The prince of Persia came to fight against the angel that was bringing him the message. Right. So this is what you need to understand. There are princes that try to block and hinder the move of God. Right. God is moving in the land. Even Paul said, pray that the word of God have free course. Yeah. So that means there are things that try to stop the word of God from having free course. This is your time of jubilee. This is your time that you will get everything you're supposed to get. Yes. This is your time that you will have breakthrough in your finances. Yes. Yes. This is your time that you will have breakthrough yes. in your family. Yes. This is your time that you will have breakthrough yes. that you never seen before. Yes. This is your time, but he wants you to understand. You got to walk and believe. Yes. You got to fight and build. Yes. But see, yes. see the salvation of the Lord. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. Fire prayers. This doesn't have words. This is created by someone who is deaf. So please, he is talented. Pay attention. I want to share with you as my dear children through the Holy Spirit of Christ what I saw in the vision 24th of March of Satanic Satellites in Space. This is the vision. Some demonic satellites are somewhere in the space. All demonic satellites are made by the demons and human slaves in the satanic kingdoms. To spy on every prayer warrior on earth. Now they're rejoicing. The prayer warriors under Yanni's leadership were praying in fire of tongues. Look at the fire going up. They're praying. They're rejoicing. They're praying. And they're in fire praying. Uh huh. See the fire's going higher and higher. It's getting bigger and bigger. Look at what's happening. It's like missiles going up. Look. The fire stones were catapulted from the prayers of the prayer warriors through the space. They're going up. Look. They just don't hit the ceiling. See? 
Some people say your prayers hit the ceiling. No, oh, this went all the way through. Come on, we want your prayers to go all the way through. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Look how far it's going. All the way through. Wow. All the way through. It's hitting the satellite, the spy oh. people. See, my oh. satellites were hit with the fire stone. So what oh. they were spying on you about, you attacked their satellite. Yeah. Through the fire. Yeah. And it, 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 it demolished <laughs> their satellite. Look, yeah. they, they can't see you anymore. Oh. It demolished their satellite. Look. Yeah.
anointing is touching the life. And it is touching you right where you are. Thank you. 